Hello and welcome to this screencast about Power Pivot. So what we're going to show during this screencast will be actually some of the tax language and we're going to create a time calculation and it will be the year to date time calculation. Okay, so without further ado, let's go to our Excel 2010 environment. So this is our report. We have our pivot table showing month information about the sales amount. Um, we have the product category slicer and the year slicer. So what we want to do now is actually create a new measure that's called year to date, which holds the year to date information. Before we can create a new measure, we have to make sure that in our dim date, our date dimension, there is a field or a column with a date data type. So the full date label is the field that we are going to use in our calculation. Um, so we have to check the data type. The data type is text. We need to change that to date. We also we're going to use actually a calculation or a function called dates year to date. To be able to use that function we really, really need to have our uh, date data type set to our column. So let's switch back. We see, or Gemini or Power Pivot sees that the model has changed. So let's first refresh that. Next, we're going to create our year to date measure. So say add new measure. The measure will be created on the table fact sales. Let's call it year to date. And then we can start creating our DAX formula. So what we're going to do, we're going to calculate something. We're going to calculate or we're going to make the sum of our fact sales sales amount. Oh, fact sales sales amount. We're going to create or calculate that sum over the dates year to date. And in our dates year to date function, we need a date column. And that's the column we changed earlier. That's the full date label. So the dates year to date function is actually going to return all dates from the first date of the year till the current selected date. The calculation will run over all the dim date table to complete dim date table. So let's check our formula. There are no errors. Okay. Now it's actually creating the year to date measure and it's going to show it on our pivot table. As you can see here, the year to date calculation has been created and we can now start using it in our pivot table. Thank you for your attention during the screencast. If you have any questions or suggestions, you can always contact us at info at element61.be. If you would be interested in having some more information about who we are and what we do, you can always go to our website www.element61.be